So the Neighbours rating tool has been around for so long, it's got the credibility that a lot of the tools don't have that are just emerging. And because of that credibility, we're able to use it to demonstrate to our investors, to our stakeholders, our tenants, that when we're saying we have a high performance building or we're really focused on energy efficiency, water efficiency, having a high Neighbours rating, uh, they have confidence in we're doing what we're saying. Once you're in that path when you've had a Neighbours Energy or Neighbours Water rating, the next step is actually improving that. And there are millions of ways to actually reduce energy and water consumption. Every building has lots of different opportunities. Once you're ready to make changes and embed projects, work towards those improvements, there's a range of different people within your organisation that's really useful to engage. You can talk to your facilities management team, you want to get procurement involved, you want to get your staff who are actually using those spaces or equipment and talk to them about the changes that you're making, how they can be involved, what improvements they can make. And you, of course, want to have decision makers and your senior management involved in that journey as well. We basically lean on, uh, you know, industry experts. We will come to neighbours, we'll go to our independent assessors, and we'll just try and basically work through any challenges uh, we face along the journey. I think what has worked really successfully for us is to have that long-term plan and then have interim steps in between. You really want to have something that is measurable, achievable, has a time frame on it, so that you know when you've got there. So what we're doing at the moment is creating that national framework so buildings can consistently measure, compare, set targets, and demonstrate to their clients, investors, that they are actually reducing their emissions meaningfully and consistently. And if we do that, if we can unlock a lot of energy savings in the next 20 years in buildings, it means that we're making the race to net zero shorter. So keep reducing your energy consumption because it's going to help the whole of Australia decarbonize a lot faster. <laughs>